Hello everyone, my name is Hardtube and today I'm walking you guys through how to install non-ELS vehicles to your GTA 5. Before we get started, if you guys haven't already, then make sure you consider like, comment and subscribing to my channel just to help me out and to make me want to upload more videos. And if you guys want to join my Discord and get just a little bit more involved in my community and maybe you want to talk to me directly and maybe you want to suggest me some video ideas for me to do in the future, and maybe you just need some help with the LSPDFR in general that maybe I can't reply to in a comment for. Make sure you join my Discord. There's gonna there's a great help team there at the moment. And maybe if you guys want to help yourself, then you can join my Discord as well. There's a short little application that you guys have to do. It's very easy, very simple. You just do that and you're straight away in the help team as long as you meet the requirements. And trust me, the requirements aren't that difficult. So if you guys are looking to join an active community for Discord, then make sure you join my Discord down in the description below. And make sure you can consider like, comment and subscribing to my channel for many more videos to come. Thank you guys so much for watching and now we'll carry on with the video. First thing you guys want to do, click the first add-on link in the description below. That'll bring you guys right here to the LSPDFR website. That's going to bring you guys right here to the unmarked CVPI pack. Just before I get into this, I do want to say that this will be the exact same for installing any other non-ELS vehicle. So maybe you didn't want to install this pack or you are installing a different car and you have a different car in mind. And this will still be the exact same way to install it. You can just follow along, you know, more or less the same way. So the requirements for this mod is obviously you are going to need, you are going to need OpenIV to install this. So if you guys haven't got OpenIV, make sure you search up OpenIV in the Internet Explorer, whatever you use, like Chrome, Opera, whatever you're using. And then download the first link if you guys don't know how to set it up. And all you guys got to do is just watch a short YouTube tutorial on how to do that. I haven't got one myself, but it's pretty simple and I'm sure there are many out there for you. Ignore that. I don't know what that is. Anyway, so what you guys want to do is you want to click download this file. Make sure you are installing the newest version of the car you are installing. For you, it might not even have any newer versions. It might just be one file. Let that load up. So let that start begin download. Start begin download. Excuse my English. Let that begin to download. For most car packs, you will not have multiple options like this one. But if you do, choose the option you want to pick. So for me, I'm just going to be choosing this one right here. And for you, yours, your car will most likely not have names like this. It'll have a name like Police, Police, Police 2, Police 3, or Police 4, FBI, FBI 2. Sheriff, Sheriff 2, and Pranger, or you could have Police Old and Police Old what and Police Old 1 and Police Old 2. But some car packs will just have CVPI or whatever the name of the brand, whatever brand of the car is. So you can rename it to whatever you want to replace the car in GTA 5. And that list that I just listed is the selection that we can use to replace the cop cars. If you guys are installing just a genuine normal ELS, a genuine normal like GTA 5 car, maybe like a Ferrari and things like that, not a cop car, then it's pretty much the same thing, but most of the time they will have it already named to the car that you can replace it to because of lights, like the lights and all that, because of the pattern on the lights and things like that. So if you already have OpenIV installed or you just installed it, open that up. Select Windows as always. Like that. Bring your download and your OpenIV side by side. Once your OpenIV has started up, it seems to be taking a abnormally long time. There we go, it took a while. Navigate to Mods, then Update, X64 and DLC Packs. This is going to be your DLC Packs. And then down here is going to be your latest patch date. That's where genuinely you would be installing it. Or you can install it in whatever patch date is comfortable and works for you. So for me, I install it in patch day 22, as I find patch day 23 can be a little bit buggy. And I've had loads and loads of people telling me that their patch day 23 is not there or it's empty. You need to update your game. So go into the driver that you have your GTA 5 on and you need to verify your game files. Because that's why you don't, that's why you don't have a patch day 23 with anything in it. Maybe you don't have, obviously you guys don't have like DLC.RPF because you haven't updated your game. Meaning that Rockstar hasn't put anything into patch day 23 because it's not updated. And even if you have got it updated and you have nothing in your patch day 23, you're going to need to reinstall your mods folder, copying the update and x64 folder from your GTA 5 main directory and then putting it back into your mods folder as you've either installed it wrong or it needs updating. 
So go to whatever patch that you are comfortable installing it in. DLC.RPF, X64, Levels, GTA 5, and Vehicles to RPF. You guys will be able to see here, I have multiple files in here. You guys will probably not, depending on what pack you are using, or depending on if you already modded your GTA 5. But I already have it, as I've already modded these vehicles into it. So I'm going to be replacing this unmarked CVPI with Police. So what do you want to do? Is rename each and every one of these files, making sure you do not delete the dot and the letters and the words after it or the letters, and just rename before that. You can rename it after anything that I listed previously. I'll lift, I'll put that list down in the description below for any of you guys who missed it and don't want to rewind, rewind back. To rename everything to whatever you are replacing it with, as long as it is inside the GTA 5 folder. Name it that. Just like so. There you guys go, you are now ready to drag and drop into your GTA 5 main directory. As I said, it doesn't need to be the same car that I'm installing. It doesn't need to be written as the same replace car that I'm installing. You can install it and replace any car you want. So it could even be Blazer 2 or Ambulance. It is still the exact same way for any non-ELS car. So make sure you come up at the top here. Go in edit mode and click yes if it doesn't let you. Come over to the white box with a blue tick in it. And make sure you select all of these. If they're not installed, it'll be blue like that. And you'll have a little blue thing pop up on your screen. If it doesn't pop up, then all you guys got to do is just do what I just showed you. And now you're ready to drag and drop the files. All you guys want to do is just simply just drag and drop them like that. Now if you just search what you just replaced, go in onto the fragment object file. You guys will be able to see if it loads up. That you have now successfully installed the image or the car that you have modded in from the website you modded it in, either GTA 5 mods, modification universal or LSPDF or whatever you use. And you guys will be able to see that that car is now in the model viewer. And that will be the exact same how it looks, obviously minus the missing wheels in your GTA 5. If you guys want to support me further, then you can check out my Patreon. It is just a genuine place where you can, where you can just pay monthly, and it's for a short price, and you get some, you get some special features like a shout out on my channel for one social media choice. And you also get your name in the description and at the end of each and every one of my videos for the duration you are supporting me. You also get a special VIP role in my Discord server, and I believe that might be it. Oh, and you also get early access to a few of my things, maybe like a 5M server that is in the works and also some merchandise so you can also have two tiers with my patreon one having more perks than the other if you guys want to check that out make sure you click under my patreon click that link and i'll bring you guys there every little bit of money will go straight into my channel for giveaways and projects that i'm working on only towards this channel nothing goes back into personal use if you guys also want to check out my discord like i said in the beginning of the video then make sure you guys do that it's just a place where you can chill and chat to other people about GTA 5 and just life in general, so make sure you guys check that out. If you guys haven't already, make sure you consider like, comment, and subscribing. That would mean to world to me. It takes like two seconds of your time to literally make like my life genuinely to make my life. If you guys just hit that subscribe button, we recently passed 300 subscribers, which is flipping insane. And I can't thank you guys enough. And it's literally lost for words. So thank you guys so much, so much, so much for that. Excuse my English during this video. I'm very tired. So excuse a mess up a few of my words. I am tired. I want to go to sleep, to be honest. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found it useful. Comment down below if you did. Comment, below, comment down below if you didn't. And maybe I can help you. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next LSPDFR tutorial video.